All right, hey folks, and thanks again for joining me at Tesla Northwest and EVs. Where am I at? I'm at Harold's Market. I just had a successful zero intervention run from my home out here to get some lottery tickets, and now we're gonna go home. We're gonna go through Anacortes and take Highway 20, so there's gonna be roundabouts, left-hand turns, city traffic, and stop lights, and even pedestrians. So join me on this second video as we try out the latest version of FSD Beta 11.3.3 on city streets, Highway 20, and other different challenges. Thanks, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, folks, we have gotten our Mega Millions. Not the actual money, but the tickets. <laughs> and we're gonna head home. So I've got us set up on a route that will take us through Anacortes. So we'll be on Highway 20. We'll do some roundabouts. We'll do some left-hand and right-hand turns, etc., etc. It should be interesting. So let's go ahead and get on the road and get FSD engaged and see how it does. Okay, FSD is engaged, and I put on the uh, daytime screen, might be a little bit better to see for y'all, because the last video I had it on nighttime, and the first video uh, was my first impression, real quick uh, drive from my home to the store, zero interventions besides leaving my driveway, which I don't really count, uh, really, really nicely done, so this, this beta update is already really, really impressive. And we're gonna put it through its paces here on this trip right now. Uh, some of the other major changes, like I said, uh, we're now on neural nets for the highway. So autopilot has gone away, at least the heuristic code for it. So we're gonna be trying that out on the freeways. Uh, I will put some uh, release notes at the end of this video, most likely. So you can see the, all of the changes for yourself, but it's a lot. All right, very well done. And we'll be doing lots of testing, lots of testing. <laughs> Hopefully you get a chance to check out the video I made on all the different types of Tesla chargers. Uh, I just got that done. I had a good time making it. And I've got some PPF for the rear doors on Model Ys I'm gonna be testing for a company here soon called uh, uh, Best EV Mod on Amazon. Nicely done. So a lot of cool content coming. Uh, we're gonna go on an EV safari, go look at all the EVs for sale in Whatcom and Skagit County. Okay, it doesn't need to slow down there, but maybe it's called sun in its eyes. Uh, and then road trips, we're going to Oregon next weekend, so be on the lookout for a good road trip video too to McMinnville or Florence, I haven't decided where yet. And then obviously lots of FSD content. Hit that like and subscribe, and appreciate it, I love having all of you people help me to uh, test out different things and just have a good time growing with the EV community. All right, we're approaching our first roundabout. We'll see how the car does. I'm having a really, really great time. I am just as uh, uh, tickled pink by how well this is working. I can't, I can't get over it. Now it might make me eat my words coming up, but we'll find out here. Okay, first roundabout, coming in nice. Maybe a little hot, but I'd rather come in a little quick than too slow. Oh wow, no hesitation whatsoever. The graphic looks a little cruder than it has in the past. I will say that. But I'm not gonna complain. Okay, next roundabout, coming up here in a minute. I also did a video on uh, charging adapters, so if you're curious about what the different types of Tesla charging adapters are, you can check that video out. I think I've been kind of busy, but the weather has sucked here for the last week or two, and so it's been kind of hard to get out and do much. All right, let's see if it makes the right lane selection and gets us into the roundabout. Oh yeah, nicely done, very good. Shouldn't stop. Oh, <laughs> wow! A little bit herky-jerky, but overall, very, very good lane selection. You folks know it has a hard time with this roundabout. Oh, wow. You couldn't have asked for much better than that. A little herky-jerky, but I, I, I think even some people would 
have a hard time doing that roundabout perfectly smooth. Okay, now we got a little bit of... Okay, this guy's gonna merc pop in front of us. Oh, car did great. Very nice. This almost looks like the old school autopilot, uh, but obviously it's working much better. <laughs> so let's go ahead and crank our speed again. We wanna match traffic and see how Amos does. We'll have to get it next to some semi trucks here hopefully soon to see uh, the behavior where it moves around in the lanes and it'll, it'll give more room to bigger vehicles or get out of the way if somebody's hugging their lane. Yeah, wow, this is really nice. Zero intervention so far, and I haven't even felt like I really should intervene. Like, there wasn't anything where I was kind of like, eh, maybe. Wheel nags seem to be a bit more persistent. Man, it's a gorgeous day. Glad we could get out and do this first thing. I apologize if the commentary is a little bit uh, blasé or not so great, but it, like I said, it's... I just got up, just got doing this, and so I haven't had any coffee or anything to really grease the wheels of my brain yet. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to make a lane merge. I'm going to go ahead and do it a favor, and I'm going to slow it down by 5 miles an hour. Immediately responsive to that command. Very well done. Alright. Now I better speed it back up just so we can get around this guy. Okay, now we are gonna need to get into this right lane. Change lanes to follow route. Wonderfully well done. Oh man, this is great. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick it down again. Very responsive. Um, some of the other items on the recall, right? So this one, it wouldn't slow down fast enough when you give it a command. Uh, it would roll through yellow lights or drive through yellow lights, uh, which I didn't think was such a big deal. Okay, maybe slowing down a little more than it needs to to make this turn, but I'll give it a break. Very well done. Now I'm more than, uh, I'm above the speed limit. Okay, so that went away, but if you go too, too much above the speed limit, you get a little blue box around the speed limit sign. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the recalls, yeah, so uh, going through yellow lights, uh, I didn't think that was a problem. We'll see if we get an opportunity to catch that. Uh, not coming to a 100% complete stop and then counting to one before going at a stop sign, so it's going to be doing that behavior now. Uh, the not being responsive to speed increases or decreases, as I indicated. And then... Uh, it would sometimes get into a right-hand turn lane and then just keep going straight. Now it needs to get over. I'm just going to wait till the very last minute to do that. That was kind of dumb. But all those have been addressed, and so hopefully we'll see opportunities of each of those in these drives. We've seen it already for the speed changes. Okay, very well done. Okay, nice. It could swing around this person, but it didn't. Okay, go, car. And we don't need to go to Safeway anymore, so we're going to have it navigate us home. Sorry about the radar detector. All right, and now we'll see how it does getting us the rest of the way to our house. No intervention so far. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with this build. So we'll get uh, our Herald's Market Run video up first, and then we'll get this video posted a little bit later this afternoon, I think. Uh, this is going to be interesting. It's going to try and go through the Safeway parking lot, so uh, I think this should be well, is it? I don't know. Let's wait and see what it does here. Nope, it's going to turn right here. Okay. Good use of a blinker. 
Oh, nicely done. And it just kept going on with its turn because nothing was coming. That's what a person would do, and I liked it. Very good. Okay, we've got to stop, and then we immediately need to get into a left-hand turn lane. So let's see how the car manages that. Okay, we should have an opportunity to turn here. And yep, car's gonna take its turn. And now it needs to get all the way over and get in the left-hand turn lane. Oh, wow, folks, amazingly well done. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. That may make it up onto a, a short. We need to make our left. Oh, I, I'm not gonna say they've got this licked yet, folks. Obviously, we gotta do more testing, but this is by far the best drive I have ever had using FSD. I, I mean, it, it <laughs> that was amazing. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be gushing, but like, wow. So we'll be doing more testing. You know, I've got a lot of uh, uh, challenging spots around here and we're gonna be going up to Bellingham with my commute. Um, but if, if, if this is how it's gonna be and the updates are only gonna make it better, first impression is, Wow, that's all I can say, wow. And I hope that translates in this video because this is, wow. Wow. Would love some suggestions if you guys have some routes you wanna see. I'm gonna try and get down to Seattle eventually. It's hard with my schedule. That's why I appreciate your patience. Uh, try and get down to do some downtown Seattle drives and uh, just kind of mix it up. But we're taking a road trip, like I said, at the end of the week. We're going to be going down to Oregon. So be on the lookout for some road trip videos, charging and cool sights. And I'm just having a great time. And uh, thank all of you that have subscribed and that will subscribe. Just really appreciate your support. I do this for fun, have a creative outlet, and I'm just enjoying the heck out of it. I think this may be a zero intervention drive. We'll find out. We got a little bit of a difficult spot uh, once we get up here and get into my neighborhood, but if the car manages that, well, then I'm going to save it. Our driver has graduated, folks, from being a 15 and a half year old wacko to a 16 year old with a tiny bit of experience, it feels like. <laughs> Maybe even a 17 year old driver. And I'm gonna make a note to myself to drink some coffee before I do these again so my commentary is a little bit more snappy. <laughs> saw a beautiful Porsche Taycan the other day at Rite Aid. Like, I, it surprises me how many EVs are in my community here. Uh, Anna Cordes has uh, got a lot of retired and, and you know, a little bit well more well-to-do folks in it. And shocking how many of them are deciding to buy EVs. It really is. I, I bet you I see 10 to, uh, 10 to 12 a day at least just here in town. And that makes me happy. Hopefully they're watching some of my videos. All right, we're coming up to our left-hand turn here onto Anna Copper. And this is usually um, not too difficult for Amos, but it's a little bit awkward. He makes it really wide and kind of slow and jerky uh, with the other versions. So let's see, wow, plenty early. It could get into the lane a little better. Ugh, that was a little rough. All right, and we should be able to make our left. Yeah, okay. Not nearly as wide. Very well done. All right, we'll roll up here, and we've got some low mediums and a park, and we'll see how it does there, and then we have some unmarked roads. So again, this is kind of a good loop because we get uh, kind of a little bit of everything. So we'll see how it does. We've got a couple deer here. Let's see if the car picks them up. Nope, didn't see the deer, didn't label them. 
The occupancy network seems much more defined. Again, this area here where the car knows there's something but not labeling it. And you'll notice the um, red edging on the curbs is gone. I just actually picked up on that. So I do think they've got some work to do on this uh, UI. Okay, we're approaching a very low median. Let's see if the car manages to miss it or if I have to take over so we don't curve the rims. Oh wow, that's the best it's ever done. It's always been questionable. Okay, good speed to go through here. Weird blinker, doesn't need a blinker. This seems like an appropriate speed to do it, uh, to go through here at, because there is a park. But before it would slow down sometimes, well, to this kind of speeds. Now it doesn't need to stop here. And I think because it doesn't quite know what to make of the roundabout. All right, well, we managed. It was a little awkward, but we managed. Now we'll see how it manages here on unmarked roads. So show, uh, throw up in the comments, throw up, blah, no. <laughs> Let me know in the comments uh, where you'd like me to go next. Probably a highway drive or a freeway drive when I get that. Uh, so we'll probably try out I-5 just as soon as I get a chance. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I've got a dentist appointment. Um, so I'm going to be kind of loopy in the afternoon, but maybe I'll get it done in the morning. And then, like I said, I'm going to go on an EV safari with my dad on Tuesday. And maybe we'll make a quick FSD video at the same time, kind of get his reactions, but we'll see. I don't want to put him in a spot where he doesn't want to be. Um, but otherwise, yep, be on the lookout. Lots of videos coming this week uh, and the weeks to come, because I'm sure updates will be coming out fast and furious. Wow. So well done. And it, it's even trying to give itself road markings. Isn't that interesting, folks? Like it's trying to in, inter, interpret what it sees, the lines on the road, and give it some kind of guidance. It didn't do that before. It would just be an unmarked road, remember? Okay. That was really awkwardly done, but it did it. <laughs> Our neighbors with the Tesla. Okay, let's see if we pick these folks up. Yep, car could have swung around them a little bit. That would have been a little nicer. Wow, okay. So we had an intervention-free drive. Uh, we went all the way from Harold's Market to my home, uh, handled roundabouts, left-hand turns, stop lights, turn lanes, unmarked roads, pedestrians. I mean, it just saw everything and it just handled it all like a champ. So this is going to be a fun, fun version and they're closer than ever. Great, great job, Tesla team. Great job. And here's our beautiful shot of the water as we roll up to my home. So I'm just gonna wish you all a beautiful day. Thank you for watching these videos and I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. We'll be getting more out to you. Talk to you soon and see you on the flip side. Uh, okay, so those were our updates. Latest version three updates. Oops. We're gonna go for a drive. All right.